If you're like me, you absolutely love backcountry camping. But one skill that you really need to master before heading out there is how to hang your food properly so that things like rodents as well as smaller mammals and even bears can't get to it. What's up meandering spirits, it's Shane here and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can hang either a food bag, a food barrel or something as large as a cooler up in a tree so that animals can't get to it and the technique that I'm going to show you can help preserve your ropes as well as making raising and lowering your uh, food container a lot easier. So let's get into it. Bags, barrels, and coolers can all be hung in a tree while in the backcountry. This method helps to keep rodents and bears from raiding your precious stash of hot dogs and marshmallows. It's a fairly effective technique, but it takes a little know-how and the right gear. Assuming you already have an appropriate food container, you'll also need the following hardware. I typically bring 30 meters of high-strength paracord. It's thin but super strong. This rope is termed the throwing rope. Next, 30 meters of static rope. I find four millimeter is best. This rope is termed the pulley rope. Another 30 meters of static rope, also four millimeters. This rope is termed the hanging rope. And two carabiners. I repurpose my climbing carabiner, which is quite large and is locking. And a smaller multi-purpose carabiner. So, the first step to hanging your food is finding the right tree and branch. Search for a tree limb that is at least 6 meters from the ground and aim to hang your food container at least 2 meters from the tree trunk. Securely tie the throwing rope to a fist sized rock. Any knot works as long as it's secure. If you can't find a suitable rock, use a small bag and fill it with pebbles, then tie the rope to it. Before throwing the rope, first ensure the immediate area around you is clear. Then aim and throw the rock over the tree limb while loosely holding the paracord. Remove the paracord from the rock and tie it to one end of the hanging rope. Then pull on the throwing rope to lift the hanging rope up and over the tree limb. Once over, untie the two ropes and wrap up the throwing rope. At the end of the hanging rope you just pulled over, make a loop knot. Then attach one carabiner to the end. This is termed the hanging carabiner. Depending if you bring a food barrel or cooler, you may have to attach separate ropes to the handles so that the second carabiner can clip to it. At the end of the pulley rope, make a loop knot and attach the loop to the pulley carabiner, which should be clipped to the food container. Then, bead the pulley rope through the hanging carabiner. Pull the hanging rope so that the hanging carabiner lies just under the tree limb. Then tie off the hanging rope around a tree. This rope won't need to be adjusted until you're ready to pack up and leave. Now you can pull on the pulley rope to lift your food container up, ensuring it is at least 4 meters from the ground. You can then tie off the pulley rope to a nearby tree. For heavier loads such as coolers, you only need to modify this setup slightly. Going back to step 6, Attach the loop knot on the pulley rope to the hanging carabiner. Then, feed the pulley rope down through the pulley carabiner and up through the hanging carabiner two times. Then repeat steps 7 and 8. Wrapping the rope this way multiplies the pulley action and makes lifting heavier loads a lot easier. And there you have it, a simple yet an effective technique for hanging your food while backcountry camping. So, test it out yourself. Let me know how it goes for you. Please leave a comment below. If you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up and hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Take care for now. Bye.